Hello, Snips. I didn't expect to see you so soon. You don't know the power of the dark side. You underestimate my power! <laughs> Hello everyone, I hope you're having a fantastic day today so far. Uh, so in this video we're going to be reacting to episode 5 of Ahsoka. Um, so I haven't been recording in a while. <laughs> it's It's been I think like 8 months ish or, or something like that. Um, I've been... I'll make another video on why I haven't been uploading. Um, I've I've always wanted to pick up, you know, the camera or or react to something, um, but yeah, I'll explain all that in a later video. Um, but this is my first ever reaction to Ahsoka. I have seen the first four episodes um, on my own private time. I was thinking of of reacting to episode one, um, but. I, I just threw it on and started watching and you know once I, you start watching it um, I couldn't stop I believe I watched the first three like right in a row uh, and then of course last week's episode episode four groundbreaking um, we all know that one part I mean no need you're already here so there's no need to spoil what happened last episode my boy Anakin Skywalker or so it seems is back um, Ahsoka possibly died um or was uh grabbed out of her kind of time when she was fighting balin um who i just want to say rest in peace ray um he's definitely probably my standout character of this whole series i would say him um shin and uh ahsoka i guess my probably top three favorite characters right now now somebody watching this i've only seen the last season of clone wars and the i saw the clone wars movie last season of clone wars and like some random episodes of clone wars i've seen i haven't seen any rebels at all um so for someone with not that much like i this is my first introduction to a lot of these characters you know obviously not ahsoka um or, or anakin or anybody but uh sabine um general hera i think her name was uh chopper i mean i i know what happens in rebels like i've seen like uh, of course videos on on what happens I, i'm familiar with the world between worlds um but you know this is my first time actually sitting down watching these characters and i've got to say watching this makes me want to watch rebels um i i know the first season is probably a little hard to get into i've heard maybe that's why i've never watched it um but i heard the last couple seasons i think it's four seasons um the last couple seasons get really good uh so you know watching ahsoka and watching these characters my first introduction to these characters make me want to watch the actual show rebels so for any of you guys who've seen rebels and uh you know how are these characters portrayed in live action uh compared to i guess the, the cartoon um because or animation i guess <laughs> but i i know I, i've seen a lot of criticisms on uh ahsoka's portrayal on how she's very stoic uh she's not very happy she doesn't smile that much um you know i can understand that um at, at the same time of course this show uh, hasn't really had much to smile about i mean it's it's a pretty it's a it's a pretty dark show like some at some points um and there's a lot of stakes going on so you know i i, I don't blame her for not smiling um but the one time well i'm sure there was more than one time but the one time you really saw her light up of course back to what i was saying at the beginning of the episode when i kind of went off on a tangent but uh you saw her light up she turns around there's anakin now is that anakin i have no idea i'm not sure uh it could be anakin it could be i've seen theories about the sun uh it could be maybe it's just in her head um but then as i'm sure how the world between worlds work is somebody has to pull you into there is what i think so if it's in her head then even if it's a ghost like how does you pull ahsoka out if he's a ghost as well as how is how is he not blue i don't know why does he have a lightsaber uh and why does he have his mechanical hand um so so many questions going into this uh this episode uh, i can see it's 52 minutes long so 
that makes me really happy. There's something about this show. I, I don't know if it's because Dave's, this is Dave's baby. This is Dave in control and, and sh flexing, you know, his, his uh, Star Wars knowledge muscles. Um, but I got to say, this is, this is probably my favorite Star Wars show. And this is probably some of my favorite Star Wars that I've seen in, in a very, very long time. And I got to say, when, when Ahsoka turned around and Anakin was there and, you know, hello, Snips. I wasn't expecting to see you so soon. You know, him standing there smiling at her. My whole body just tingles and, and, and froze and chills. And, and my eyes just like filled up with tears. And I'm like, I was like so shocked. Like I, I, I didn't even know like what to do for the rest of the day. <laughs> Well, it's 6.50 right now, so this has been out for 50 minutes. Uh, I've been just babbling and stumbling trying to make a, an intro to this. Uh, so I, I hope it's not too long, but uh, let's get right into the reaction. So, episode 5 of Ahsoka. Kid's name's Jason, right? He's the son of... Uh, Kanan? Kanan? So I'm sure he's force-sensitive... I'm sure uh, sure Luke will maybe teach him or Ahsoka. Ahsoka's music too is, is is up there. I think it's Boba's was really good. Mando's was really good, but I think Ahsoka's my t Shadow Warrior. Okay. Shadow Warrior. Oh, we're going right into it. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Who are you? Are you Anakin? You lost the fight. I don't remember. Trust me. You lost. One is never too old to learn, Snips. Snips. Oh my god. Okay. All right. Yeah, this definitely was his saber. I remember a lot of people uh, saying, "Oh, it's Vader's saber," but it's Anakin's. I mean, it's Episode Three's saber. It's just, it's just his robes reflecting off the metal, where it looks black, that, like kind of like that black thing that uh, uh, Vader's has. But Senator Organa says she can only give us cover for so long. Senator Organa. Well, we're not going any. Benefit from people asking a few more questions. Jason knows. Not if we don't have any answers. But mom, there's something about the water. The lightsabers. Whoa. You can hear it. Oh yes. The Hayden spin. Whoa. If I had to guess, I don't think that's Anakin. I think that's some essence, some something. It's not Anakin. I think we're gonna see Anakin towards the end. His it, actual ghost. I don't. I don't think that's Anakin. Oh my god! Oh my god! He's wearing his iconic Clone Wars armor. Yeah, no kidding. Oh my god! Oh my god! This was one of our first missions. Yeah, it looks so good. So is her is her essence in her younger self right now? Excuse me. Cause she was like kind of out of it for a second. We can see Obi Wan. We can see Rex. Oh my God, that's that, that's him. That's Rex. This is nuts, dude. There's always a price to be paid. War, Ahsoka. 
As Jedi, it's our job to lead. I'm speechless right now. What I train for. You must adjust to the times. I'm sure for a reaction, being dead silent is not the best. But I, I'm like, I, my full body has chills right now, and I, I don't even know what to say. This is. Holy! This is a movie, dude. This is a this is a movie. This is a serious, impressive TV show. I want a live-action Clone Wars movie now. The whole thing. Okay. Whoa! Oh my god. I I want a movie of this. I want a movie with just this. I don't know this battle. This was the siege of Mandalore. Oh my god. Live. The red saber. It's his eyes yellow too? Oh my god. Oh, I thought he was coming out as Vader. What's going on here? Oh, sh You yet. What is going on, dude? Oh, is she back? She's got her white cloak. I owe you my thanks. Goes in with the gray cloak, comes out with the white. I've left an impression on it, like a memory. Oh. So we'll know what happened. I didn't know Ahsoka could do that. I thought you have to be like specific abilities in the Force. To have this like specific gifts. I don't understand why they wouldn't just send a portion of their ships. Like they just straight up declined it. It's like this person's a war hero and they're requesting for you to help and you just ignore it. Like this is how the Republic falls. This is how the New Republic falls. I saw some people saying how they were going to read the map in our hands. And I never really understood that because they don't really need that stuff. They need the Dathomir kind of magic to find the coordinates. The coordinates aren't on the little ball. All right, let's go here, Pergil. We go surfing, Pergil. Dude, she's such a badass, man. Ahsoka, Sabine, uh, Shinhati. And Hera, all badasses. That thing is huge. It's probably the size of like a Star Destroyer. I'm sure Rebels fans, or I guess people who've seen Rebels, are probably like in awe of seeing this in live action. Even like for me who've just seen clips, this is kind of nuts seeing this in live action. Don't end here. Give us, give us some more. All right. So, episode five, Shadow Warrior, I believe it was called. Uh, it's done, concluded. I liked it. It was good. My favorite part, of course, was the flashbacks to the Clone Wars. We got to see Rex, um, Anakin in his, you know, iconic Clone Wars armor. Uh, we saw a little Ahsoka. Um, I think what could have been cool I'm, is like doing having Ashley Eckstein do the voice um, for Ahsoka, um, and then like having, of course, the younger uh, actress uh, play like her but having um ashley Eckstein actually do the voice for her i thought that would have been cool um but 
know, seeing Anakin in his glory days was was amazing. I want to see a Clone Wars movie. I want to see that more than anything right now um, of some of their untold adventures during the Clone Wars. Um, for a second, I almost thought we were going to see Obi-Wan. You know, when they were on the battlefield, I thought, oh my god, if Obi-Wan's there in his Clone Wars armor, how crazy would that be? Um, but didn't get to see him. Maybe I missed something, but I don't think we have the definitive answer if that was Anakin or not. Um, it, it just, it's still a little kind of cloudy. I'm, I'm not sure what that was. I, I still personally don't think that was Anakin because they didn't really explain it that much. I don't think so. Um... I mean, if it was his ghost, like if it was his ghost and in the world between worlds, they don't have to be blue. Uh, that would make sense why he would be able to like uh, physically interact with Ahsoka um, and have his lightsaber. But maybe when the ghosts come to the real world, they get the blue essence. Uh, and like when we saw Anakin's ghost in um, Return of the Jedi... He was in his white, you know, his his white robes, and he had both of his hands, didn't have his lightsaber. So was that Anakin? I don't I don't know. I don't know. What do you I, I would love to know what you guys think. Please down below let me know if you think that was Anakin or not, because personally, I don't think that was him. I I, I think Shadow Warrior, I mean yes, of course Anakin went to the dark side. Um, but in this time frame, he's gone. He's you know dead. He's no longer a shadow warrior. He's 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 brought back to the light. So I don't know if that was the the sun or or if that was just some dark side essence kind of taking Anakin's shape uh, because you know he he fought Ahsoka. Uh, see him switching between Vader back and forth. Um, and using a red lightsaber with Sith eyes. Of course, we all know Anakin's done that stuff. Anakin's done some. Anakin's done some bad things. But, but in the end, I, I don't think like that would be how Anakin is portraying himself. Um, so, I I think that was the sun. I think that was some sort of dark essence um, of the dark side taking his shape. Um, but like at the same time, you know, he kind of was you know talking to ahsoka like he actually wanted to teach her a lesson um so i i don't i don't know i'm 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 just as confused right now as before i watched the episode so i i do hope we see him in some sort of essence you know coming as a force ghost or 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 you know speaking to her i want them to have a conversation about you know what happened i want i want i feel ahsoka probably has so much guilt in her of what happened um walking away from him and and him having happened what happened so i hope we have one more scene at least with hayden and, and uh uh her talking and you know they just get to really talk like i listen to them talk for a whole episode um obviously they're they're not gonna do that but i want him i would just want them to talk i just want them to to sit talk and i want it just to be hayden and her just talking uh i don't want to see you know fighting i don't want to see i i, I love the i love what we saw this episode but i don't want to see that i just want to see them talking um about what happened and i kind of want you know anakin of course to let her know that it's okay you know everything's okay now she can let go of this guilt you know that she's holding up inside of her one thing I really like too is the whole series she's been having her, you know, her gray cloak um, and she goes into the world between worlds. She talks to Anakin, uh, fights, you know, learns some things and she almost gets like kind of, it's like Gandalf the gray turning into Gandalf the white. She comes back out, she has her white robe. One thing that kind of pissed me off is, is the good guys never listen in Star Wars, I feel. Like, of course, the Jedi, you know, they become so caught up in something that they allow the sith to take over and and create the empire the rebels come back they take everything back um everything's good and of course how we can see in this is i'm sure this is how the first order are kind of takes command but you know them 
not listening and not trusting in one another and 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 just having all these dumb rules and regulations oh can't send this here can't send that there it's this is a war hero from what i've heard from rebels Hera is fantastic as and she's a great general and she's telling you this is what i need we're gonna go here this is happening and for you to just disregard that it's it's really frustrating um but i get i guess that's how the first order kind of pops up is because they're kind of blindsided by their own kind of oh everything's perfect everything's great to not even it's it's if you've seen harry potter it's kind of like cornelius fudge when voldemort comes back and he's just nope it's not happening it's not happening nothing's happening everything's great and of course when he comes back you know he's, it's like you don't want to believe there's an evil coming back after you finally got rid of it so Oh, look at that tan. <laughs> I've been golfing this summer, and uh, I got a crazy golf tan. <laughs> pale, I'm like a force ghost, pale force ghost, and then like right there. I haven't played Jedi Survivor yet, so maybe we'll do a stream. Um, I'm sure probably many streams, because it's a long game, I've heard. So maybe we'll uh, we'll start a stream soon of Jedi Survivor, if, uh, if you guys are interested in that. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, if you've been with my channel for a while, um, like, I, like I said, sorry about that little kind of hiatus I went on to, the little kind of pause. Um, it, it was necessary, but I think I'm ready to kind of get back into action, start, uh, start making some videos again. So if you're still with me, Thank you very much. Uh, I love you all so very much. Um, let me know what you guys thought of Ahsoka. Give me some prediction down below. Was that Anakin? Was that not Anakin? Will we see Hayden Christensen again in the... How many episodes? I think it's eight. So I think there's three episodes left. Will we see Hayden Christensen again? I hope so. Fingers crossed. Uh, but I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day today. But, of course, may the falls be with you. Always. Always.